Welcome back to GTA Online. This is part four of the GTA Online Tuners update. Last time, we built this thing, the Honda S2000. Today, though, I wanted to let Twitch chat decide what we build. We've got more awesome cars to check out but I'm kind of undecided what we should build. Maybe we go with the Nissan S13, always a classic. Maybe we go back to my Ford roots and build a Ford Mustang, or maybe we build this thing, the Toyota Celica, Celica, however you want to pronounce it. This is actually the fastest Wash car in the new update. 15% of the vote only is going for the Nissan S13, so that's out, and it's so close between the Ford Mustang and the Toyota Celica. There you go. The Celica won by 70 votes. Like I was saying, this is actually the fastest car in this new update. So I'm really excited to try out some races with this thing. Anyways, let's send it over to the auto shop and get customizing our new vehicle. I love the variety in our lineup. Like they're all JDM legends, but for such different reasons, like the newest JDM car, the Toyota Supra, an absolute track racing monster Honda S2000. The Celica is a fantastic rally car in real life. And the Mazda RX-7, fantastic drift car. Anyways, we're gonna drive this today. I don't actually know the correct way to pronounce it, Celica or Celica. I'm gonna call it the Celica. Send it into the corner, do a little drift. That'll tell me if it's all wheel drive. And in. Yeah, that's definitely all wheel drive. That is an insane amount of grip from the Celica. I wanna actually do two builds with it. One, I wanna do some more street racing stuff because it is super, super fun. But at the same time, I also want to come back, do some more GTA customization, and turn this into a rally car. I don't know if that's actually going to work, but we'll have to see. Let's start off, though, with a good old street racer. Let's start things off with some race brakes. No way. We've got 20 different front bumpers. Are you kidding me? Endless already. That's a really, really nice, like, rally front bumper. Love that. I think I kind of want to make it look like a race car. So I kind of like this one. We've got a bunch of different rear bumpers. That looks so cool. That's so rally inspired. That's really cool as well. Okay. A bunch of that. I like the little diffuser. Carbon fiber as well. That is a little bit on the ricey side for me. I, I kind of like this one. After all of our bumpers, we're going to go upgrade our engine for 30,000 bucks. Give us that extra horsepower that we need. I love how the stock, like, exhaust on this car is already a titanium tip. That's so cool. That's sweet. Looking out at the angle like that. That's really cool. I love these. Dual exhaust. That looks really good. These exhausts are insane on here. Yeah, I agree with you, buddy. I don't know what body parts work with what other body parts, so we'll go with that. If we need to change things in the end, we will. After that, we've got some fender stuff. No way! We've got wide body parts. That's awesome. Okay. It's a little bit unfortunate that we don't have engine spacers on this thing. We've got fog lights. No, those aren't any normal fog lights. Those are proper rally lights. Okay. Like all of Twitch chat wants me to toss the rally lights on. I guess we're going rally lights on this. Th whoa, 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 whoa. Headlight covers? Wait, 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 wait. Whoa. No way! That's so cool! Unfortunately, though, we can't actually use those headlight covers because we've got the cool rally lights. Regardless, we've got hood latches to give you, like, that race car stuff. But I think instead, I'll go with a custom hood. 27 different hoods for the Toyota Celica? Are you kidding me? Maybe I go with something like this just so it's a little bit modified. Yeah, let's let's go for that. Livery as per usual, we will come back to in a moment. Side mirrors. We've got two different options. I'm going to go Let's keep them stock actually. Yeah, let's keep them stock. Yes, we've got mud flaps on the vehicle. Okay. I think I might make them secondary or do I make them black? Well, carbon fiber mud flaps. Are you kidding? 
I'm, I'm gonna go secondary mud flaps. Let's go for that. License plate? No way you can remove. Yo! Okay, I'm definitely chucking the license plate on the side like that. That's so unique. As cool as that is with no front license plate, having it mounted on the side is really, really cool. So let's go for that. This is where we might actually want to consider a roof scoop. As this is a rally car and a lot of real life rally cars do actually have roof scoops, maybe we consider it for this. I do like the idea of a carbon fiber roof. Yo, and those little like fins off the back. Maybe we go with this guy. It's a carbon fiber roof with the fins and a, a roof scoop as well. It's kind of like the best of both worlds. Side skirts, we've got some options as well. I don't know if I really want to toss one on because that would ruin our, our ride height for rally racing. I kind of like this one. This actually kind of fits with the vehicle, both the front bumper and the rear bumper. Yeah. Let's go for that, okay? We've got 23 different rear wings on the Celica as well. Always some good ducktails. That's really cool. That wing is enormous. That's almost like an STI wing. That's a real Celica wing. That's sort of a little bit rice rice baby. Same thing for that one. That, nope, that's a pass for me. Yeah, a lot of these rear wings just don't really fit. So I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with this one. It's a Celica rear wing. We then arrive at our suspension, and because we're gonna be racing it first, let's slam our suspension all the way down. When we come back in a moment and turn it into a rally car, we will remove that. Let's go for a race transmission. A trunk? No way you can paint your trunk in carbon fiber. That's really cool. We'll go for a turbo as well, though. Our final upgrade will be our window tint. Black those guys out. So now that we've done all of our upgrades, let's head over to our livery. Let's see if there's some good Celica stuff. Hopefully, some green, white, and red would be really cool. Whoa, whoa, that's cool. I like that. This is a super cool fake Castrol paint job. That would look so, so good in white. Unfortunately, though, you unlock it at level 184. Yeah, let's go for that and then see what that looks like with a nice paint job as well. Oh, that's really nice. I think we are finished. The Celica. That is looking so sick. We're taking the Celica online against a bunch of randoms. I want to see if this is as OP as everybody says it is. Everybody in Twitch chat is telling me that I need to take the opening shortcut right off the start line. Okay, we're gonna have to stalk the mini map right away. There you go, you can actually see it on the mini map. The shortcut instantly. Okay, so here we go. Avoid all of the bumping and crashing. Yes, everybody's doing it. Okay, okay, that's really cool. Sorry lads, coming through. And we're leading in the Celica. No, <laughs> we're winning by miles again. Anyways, let's <laughs> see if this thing is as OP as everybody says it is. We shall see. This guy's gonna crash. This guy's totally gonna crash in front of me. Did I or did I not call that? Get out of my way, you donkey. Wow, what a cheese shortcut. Because of all the bumping, though, and I, I'm not really paying too close attention to the, the actual route. I'm not running on the other people as much as I could be. So I, I think I'm not going to pay attention to the shortcuts. I think I'm just going to try to drive. Drive the Celica fast. Like, okay, I'm drop, Bro, again, the same guy. P3 is not bad, but the Celica is supposed to be OP. I need P1, please, 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 please. Okay, is this the end of lap number one? Just around this corner, I believe. Yeah, this is the end of lap number one. So we know our way around the circuit now. So I know all of the shortcuts. Let's go. I should be able to catch up fairly nicely. These guys in front of me are actually pretty good as well, though. He runs it deep, crashes into the wall. We're gaining. We're going to get a little bit of slipstream. This is the final lap of the race. For the Celica, come on. I'm curb boosting. Okay, moving on. Nobody saw that. Yo, how far is the guy in P1? Yo, the other Celica. Crazy fast. Breaking before the jump. Don't want to run too wide there. Use some slipstream. Come on. 
catch up, follow him up. He's all over the place, this guy. I'm all over, I'm literally. Oh my God, I've bottled it. I, I have never been so disappointed in my life before. Correction, I have now never been more disappointed in my life before. Race number two, I'm actually racing in the middle of the day this time. Again, I'm on a circuit that I don't know, so I'm gonna have to learn the shortcuts on the opening lap and hopefully keep up with everybody else. So, away we go, Celica race number two. Okay, somebody has the world's loudest horn. This Celica is so fast off the line. Anyways, I see a shortcut right here. Yup, following everybody else. Good spot. Oh, you donkey. Oh, you absolute donkey. First place is running away now. I don't have the confidence yet to be able to take these corners as fast as I know they can be taken. Racing line, wide line. He's blocking the inside. This guy's actually quite good at the game. Go, bud. Go, buddy. Go, buddy. Where are you going? Yeah, you missed the checkpoint, Spoon. Oh, my God. The all-wheel drive on the Celica is so sick. It just... It grips for days, this thing. I'm not doing the Celica justice whatsoever. This thing has more grip than I know what to do with. Bruh, that's so insane. The tires and the grip. I guess it's the all-wheel drive giving this unreal, like, grip through the corners. That's awesome. I will take the P2. Look at the guy in P1. He was five seconds a lap faster than I was. That was so sick. I think it goes to show how insane the Celica actually is in the right hand. I think we can all agree that the Celica is an awesome, awesome race car. But now, I want to turn this into a rally car. And by rally car, I mean a car that can do everything in GTA. Which also means being able to withstand gunfire. So, uh, armor. I'm also going to swap my front bumper for something a little bit more rally inspired. So let's go for that one. All I am gonna do to this car is remove the slam down suspension. So it's now gonna ride like that. Ank actually says, don't forget about the bulletproof tires. That is a very good call. I haven't tossed those onto a car in a very long time. So that's good. This is the job we're gonna do. The robberies, rob the cash in the vaults of the Fleeka Bank branches and deliver it to the client. Should be easy enough. The bank contract, the Toyota Celica. That car looks up. I've already crashed. Okay, go, going to a Felipe, uh, Philip. Ah, I can't speak. I'm going over to this one. This is the first bank location. Here we go. Nice little fleece of bank. Keep Out we go. Dog. Pull up, hit the vault, leave with the fat pocket. Move. Where do I need to go? Where do I need to go? This way. This way. I really hope the Celica is insanely fat. Okay. You know, I wouldn't have stood right there, buddy. I probably would have probably would have just moved over here. We got places to be. The cops are definitely on the way. Yes, looking good. Looking good. All right, out we go. Out we go. They're never going to know what hit them. I'm going to A. No way, no cops. Let's go. All right, I'm going with Ank all the way up to A. Fantastic. What a sick car to do jobs in. Like, it's so quick. And so nimble. Hank, never mind. We're going here. We're going here. Sorry. Just one more bank and we can wrap this shit up, y'all. Going in. You at Coming in. One? Back of the building is where it's always at. We got it. Hank is doing shooting. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Hank is guarding. We got this. Come on. Come on. Deliver the cash to the client. Sounds good. Oh my god, there's cops right outside. Let's go. What a sweet, slick bank robbery. Absolutely no issues at all. Yo, we, we've got five stars right now. But I'm I'm flying. I'm zooming in the Celica. I don't I don't even want to think about slowing down. Sorry. I think we've also gone the correct direction. I'm just going up river. They're all going down river. This is working beautifully. As soon as this cop passes, I'm going to gun it up that hill and absolutely send it. Here we go. Send it. Send it. Thank you. And I believe... All right, just meet him at the drive. 
and grab the payout. Let's go! Let's go! What a sick way to escape from the cop. And by you, I mean we. All we gotta do now is meet the client. They definitely won't remember me. What a cool vehicle for doing missions in. The mission has been passed. Thank you very much. 160,000 bucks for that mission. I think what we've learned today is that the Toyota Celica not only has an absurd amount of customization to both turn the vehicle into like a proper race car, but also at the same time, all of these awesome rally mods. Like I would say as cool as the Supra is, as cool as the RX-7 is and so on, this, at least to me, the best vehicle in the update we've tried so far.